Hello guys, my name is Chetan Vadadia and today we are going to study about splitting the middle term in easy way or I will I will tell you one short trick also to find out the splitting the middle term in a simplest way. Actually many students were asking me on my telegram ID that sir we are having doubt in splitting the middle term. Students are from Saudi, Oman because we are having uh, schools CBSE affiliated schools in this country also. So they were having doubt in this so I thought to share this video for them and our Indian students also can see how we can solve this. So let me tell you how to do splitting the middle term of this quadratic polynomial. First you need to multiply the coefficient of x square means the first term coefficient of this first term and last so coefficient of x square is 1 because nothing is there so 1 multiply with 30 so that will give you 1 into 30 will be 30 so now we need to find out the factors of 30 in such a way that multiplication we will get 30 only but the addition of that two numbers should be equal to our middle number that is plus 11 this is positive 11 so I am just writing 11 if it was it was, would have been negative then I would have written here minus 11 but here it's positive so I had written nothing here now we know that uh, 3 tens are also 30 6 fives are also 30 if I will take 3 tens are 30 here 3 tens are 30 but 3 plus 10 will be 13 but we need 11 so here what we are going to use 6 5 are 30 and 6 plus 5 will also give us 11 so this way first we need to match the terms whose multiplication will be 30 and whose addition will be equal to the middle term now what we need to do now we need to split the middle term with the help of this so 1 is 6 and 1 is positive 5 so you need to write down positive 6x and positive 5x 6x plus 5x is 11x this that's why we call this method as splitting the middle term now in front we are having x square at last we are having 30 now just we need to find out common out of this here x into x x square is there here 6x there so in common of this two we are getting x and here we had taken 1x common so 1x will be remaining here plus here this x we had taken common but remaining term is 6 here also first of all both are positive so take out positive common 5 ones are 5 and 5 6 are so in both this term 5 is common so take out 5 here remaining x plus 5 6 are 30 so 5 we had taken out common so remaining is term 6 now you can see in both this x plus 6 will be the remainder so take out x plus 6 common and your remaining term will be x plus so this way easily you can find out the factors of any quadratic polynomial by splitting the middle term so let me explain this one more time just you need to multiply the coefficient of x square and the last term okay so 1 into 32 will give you 32 you need to find out the factors of 32 in such a way that multiplication remains 32 but the addition of that two terms will be 18 so 18 and 32 so 8 fours are 32 but 8 plus 4 will be 12 only so that will not work. 16 to za. Yes. 16 to za 32. And 16 plus 2. That is 18. So now we are going to split this. And write down this as plus 16x and plus 2x. Okay guys. This way you need to split the middle term. Now x square in front and 32 at last. Now take out common you will get x common here now here one x we had taken out common so x plus here only remainder will be 16 now here plus 2 common as 2 16s are 
so take 32 so 2 we have taken common so here x plus 16 will be the remainder now take out x plus 16 common and x plus 2 as your another factor so this way easily you can find out the factors guys directly i can tell you the trick also that's why i was waiting the short trick here whatever factors you are getting whatever factors you are getting if your coefficient of x square is 1 directly you can write down you can see here x plus 6 and here x plus y will be the factor you can check this already we got this one here also the same thing factors were 16 and 2 and you can see the remainder x and this is positive 16 so x plus 16 and x plus 2 directly also you can do this but you need to show the method in examination that's why i shown this but directly whatever factors are coming that you can take with x and take it as your answer but this you cannot uh, solve when two mark or three mark question will be there in a, your examination where students are making mistake in this when positive signs are there uh, generally they are getting correct answer but but when look at this question here sign is negative here also this is negative or sometimes here also you are getting negative sign so at that time students are making this. so to explain that directly also we will do this let me write first you need to multiply the coefficient of x square and the last term 1 multiply with minus 69 you will get minus 69 as your product 1 into minus 69 now you need to find out the factors of minus 69 in such a way that multiplication remains minus 69 but the addition should be positive 20 oh this is little bit difficult so when you are getting little bit bigger terms i will explain in one next video when big terms are there how you can easily solve that here also i can show you that trick just you need to find out the prime factors of this 69 uh, so 3 23 indirectly 23 ones are so these are the factors 23 threes are will give you but one should be negative so let me tell you if you are taking 23 threes are your answer will be positive 69 but you need negative so which term you will take minus 23 or minus 3 or both negative you need to work according to this you need positive 23 as your answer so 23 positive and minus 3 just you need to write down there because now if you will multiply 23 multiply with minus 3 you will get minus 69 as, as your answer and 23 plus minus 3 will give you positive 20 so directly if you will split this you can write down plus 23x and minus 3x okay so this way you need to do here minus 69 here and x square directly you can take out common and find out but i i told you shortcut in the previous uh, question only directly you can write down x plus 23 and x minus 3 as your answer still i am helping you to solve this directly you can take out x common here you will get x plus 23 as your remainder now here you need to take out minus 3 common so if you are taking negative common this will become positive x plus 23 and x plus 23 and x minus 3 will be your factor actually i told you the shortcut so direct with that also you can solve this but this shortcut will be useful during your mcq questions only but when solving is there you need to show this all properly okay guys please keep this this in mind now one multiply with minus 150 minus 150 and factors of minus 150 in such a way that product remain minus 150 but the addition will be 90 should be 90 so 150 15 tens are but 15 and plus 10 will give you either a 25 or 15 minus 10 will give you 5 so that is that is not going to work so let us find out the factors by prime factorization 2 75 3 25 5 and 5 
so by using this uh, 150 and you need 19 so 25 minus 6 perfect you can see this 5 into 5 25 and 3 2 are 6 25 6 are. but you need to please keep this in mind 25 6 are. 25 plus 6 is 31 but you need 19 so you can take this as 25 minus 6 so this will be 19 and 25 multiply with minus 6 so you will get, get this for directly without splitting also if you want to write down x plus 25 and x minus 6 are your factors guys so easily without solving uh, also you can do if you want to solve let me explain this to you positive 25x and negative 6x minus 150 you can take out x common in this so x plus 25 will be the remainder take out minus 6 common when you are taking minus common this will become plus x plus 25 and you can see the factors are x plus 25 and x minus so guys this way easily you can do splitting the middle term of any quadratic polynomial and this is the short trick by which directly without solving this also whatever factors are you are, you are getting but please keep this in mind you can do this method when the coefficient of x square is 1 you cannot do when coefficient of x square is different for that you need to use another trick that i will explain in my next video guys still if you are having any doubt you can ask me your doubt at my telegram id this is my telegram id at the rate chetan ptl patel ptl1 this is the shortcut without space at the rate chetan ptl1 this is my telegram id just send me hi and your doubt i will explain on my youtube channel guys thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel guys thank you so much all the students of India, USA, Canada, UK, Australia and other countries can join me for more videos.